since they've made the three. So let's call this a win, and I think we're going to clean up. That means we can actually drink. I think that means we can actually drink. Yeah, um, and play games too, apparently, because uh, they have uh, chicken out and they haven't, uh, you know, they haven't, they haven't uh, moved on their threat. It's actually a good thing because that means, uh, you know, you're basically free to do what you like as far as uh, at least, at least the. The game's in the park now. Well, as my driving instructor said, anything's legal as long as the cops aren't around. So. Yep. Well, if they, they've shown an unwillingness to enforce the law, which, which well, I they tried. I mean, they were hiding they somewhere. They, they I guarantee did. you, we're going to They did. Again. But until they actually, until they actually, they were trying well, to ascertain whether or not they were not. I'm probably going to call the check on yeah. skinhead and leave. They couldn't find enough holes. So the announcement was just made that it's been 20 minutes past the 15 minute mark that was given uh, about when the police said that there may be arrests if people were disobeying orders to not play games. It may be worth doing this again with actual alcohol. Um, out in the middle of the street. Um, I, I don't know about in the middle of the street, but I, I, think, I think it might be worth it. I mean, what's the open container ordinance anyway? Uh, I mean, for like, what's the penalty limit now? It is. Uh, it's the same as the what the open container charge would be the same as the throwing things in the park charge. It's okay. all a town ordinance. Okay, so, so I think I think this might be the level of the fine again, may be different. Actual alcohol. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if they'll show up again or not, but it would be worth. I think the. I mean, we've already got the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. The stuff to do it. Um. So so uh. So Bob. Uh, looks or like you could do another. Uh, uh, or, or you could do a. Throw things in the park day where people uh, come bring their favorite ball and. Uh, yeah, that would be another. Throw. That would be another great thing to protest. Okay, guys, sorry, false alarm, false alarm. I'm with you guys now, not with the Mormons. Playing beer pong in the brickyard, right? The Keene Fire Department deals with over 20 overdoses a day in Keene. Legit, that's the fact. Over 20 in Keene alone. But they'll take them to a hospital and send them home. But they'll bust your balls for playing a freaking game on the brick yard. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand it, dude. I just don't understand. You know, like they sent three cops out here. Like, there was this, two there, and then one watching from over there. You know, like I can see them smoking a bowl of weed, dude. But you know what I mean? Like a heroin junkie, dude. And I've seen it. Pella Quinn down to drop-in center here in Keene. I watched the freaking junkie pass out with a broom in her ass like this, dude. Pelican go, I think I gotta take her to jail, walk over, talk to her, get in this cruiser and drive over, you know, get in this cruiser. She walks over to the edge of the road where his cruiser is and nods out again standing in front of the cruiser. And he peeps the horn dude and drives away. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not you know, I'm not into getting people arrested or anything, dude, but at that point in time, dude, the person has no recognition of who they are or you know, they don't know what the hell's going on, dude. You're passing on the fucking street. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the help Rulium is first illegal. Did you get your cigarettes? No.